So for the restoration to be a bit of a success, first thing you need to do is give it a really good clean. Uh, if it's a really dirty bike, make sure you use some degreaser as long as you wash it off properly afterwards. Ideally pick somewhere spacious for your bike maintenance, uh, like you can see uh, the start to my bike maintenance was uh, giving the house a bit of maintenance as well. Good idea to get the various kit you'll need in one place, uh, the new brake blocks, the new uh, chain, uh, things such as an allen key, the lubricant and uh, a chain tool as well, it's probably going to come in handy and uh, depending on the how well the repair goes uh, the alcohol might be a good uh, good option too. So in this video I'll be covering the chain maintenance which is one of the most common and then I'll also be covering uh, brake maintenance and in a later video I'll be mentioning uh, how you can replace the tires on your bike which also fade out pretty frequently and how you can set up a new uh, cassette so the first thing you need to do is check if the chain is worn. Now you can do this using a chain tool uh, and if you just drop it into the chain and it falls into place then it means the chain is worn out. Give the chain a spin until you come across a quick release link if your bike chain has one. To release the chain simply push the two links together. And before you throw the old chain, you can use it to measure the number of links uh, so that you can match it up with your new chain, just in case the new chain may need shortening down. If the new chain does need shortening down, then you'll need to use a chain tool. Uh, now, I won't go into this too much here, but I have posted up all the information in the iPhone application Bike Doctor, or you should be able to find out quite easily how to use a, a chain tool um, to, to shorten your chain. Installing the chain can be one of those things that is a little bit fiddly so you just need to start by putting it over the cogs. Uh, followed by the cassette at the rear uh, and just sort of thread it around the, the cassette uh, and then place it back down uh, over the top uh, the top jockey wheel and then down and behind the bottom jockey wheel and then finally pull the two parts together and then push the quick release chain through uh, make sure it's well attached and then tug it so it comes into position. As a final check, spin the cranks and change through the different gears just to make sure they're working absolutely fine. So that was an easy start. You should now have a chain that's spinning around beautifully and uh, in the next uh, video clip I'll be covering how to do some tuning up of your brakes.